Hello, everybody. If you have a pencil, a pen, charcoal, y'all don't got no charcoal? Don't run with it, don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, they don't got no pencils, no pens. They don't got no charcoal for your boy. It's okay, but I'm just gonna show you how I do. Okay, so you gotta start off like this, you feel me? You gotta start off with your head moving like a circle. And you gotta put some style so you can know the, you know, like where your face line, where your face is gonna be. Like, so now you gotta think about it like, oh, oh, okay. What I'm looking at, what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at. Okay, I know what I'm looking at, mm-mm. You gotta draw little bags under my eyes, you feel me? Cause you know, nigga be tired. Do that, man. I feel like motherfucking Bob Ross in this bitch. Let's have a little evergreen tree. He lives right there. We gonna put, let's put some chains on this man. But boy, if I ever had the choice of just getting out the game all together. But staying in the entertainment, I'm finna try to write a Star Wars script where it has full-blown niggas. Like, it's like straight up. Nah, I, I'm, I'm kidding. Shit, I would do. I would definitely do my own Star Wars movie. But I gotta collab with Childish Gambino on that bitch. That's the only nigga I'll collab with if it came down to a Star Wars script. If I was to ever do a Star Wars movie, it's gonna be The Last Jedi. Last Sif and a bounty hunter. That's that's gonna be it. No R two D twos, no nothing. It's just like that's what it's gonna be. And they're gonna have to learn from each other in order to survive and take down the real evil empire, which used to be a Jedi. But it was just like the first Jedi that actually became one with the Force and shit, and just slaughtered all the Jedi's and all the Sifts at the same time. And a bounty hunter is gonna be a Skywalker, but she doesn't have the Force. He, she gonna be the only Skywalker without the Force. I named it Zoo because Zoo is a reference to Kara City. Kara City is a concrete jungle. Like, somebody asked me from the Pokemon Beans, he was like, you, live in, you used to live in Kara City? I was like, yeah. How y'all deal with all the murders out there? I'm like, nigga, you from the Beans. Like, how y'all deal with all these murders up here, the fuck? Like, you know, that shit be tripping me out. But, you know, we call it Zoo because that's what we call it. That was the name, that was the nickname for Kara City, is the Zoo. This is my depiction of myself. At the same time, my city, if you look at, most people, they will resemble the same thing as part of my culture. Birds was, well, when it came down to that feature, Birds was already completed. It was just the first verse, second verse, and that was it. And then we had, um, Mark had the idea, like, well, why don't we try to get Ross on it? And I was like, oh, I mean, that'll work because I fuck with food, you know? So I ended up hitting him up, you know, and we just talked through on Twitter, you know? Yeah, you, you can use Twitter to talk to people and shit, not, you know, not being an ass. But we talked through Twitter, I got, like, we had each other's number and then I just sent him the song and he got it back to me within five days. Well, the song Speedboat came together when Raj came to the studio. And if you don't know who Raj is, Raj is a Miami producer. He's done a lot of stuff. I think he worked with Wayne before. And um, he was going through beats and that was the one I picked. So we went in there and I just went from mine to Mike because I feel like the pen and the pad is like the middleman of like recording the song. If you want to get everything down pat, just go in there and just like, think if you're already thinking about it, why don't you just say it? Right? So when it came down to it, I was just freestyling over it and then I was like, run it again, 
freestyle a little bit, run it again, freestyle a little bit, run it again. So it came down to it. I was just like, big talk, speedboat, and then automatically I was like, oh, that's it. And then we just kept going. What can I say after big talk, speedboat? Pray to God I don't get repo. Didn't go to college for a free throw, people getting killed through the people. So it's just like, it all flowed together. And when I was creating a song, the whole premise of it, when it was finished, it was like, damn, I lost a lot of friends when growing up and shit. Like, to whatever. Usually it's jail, they going to jail because they murdered somebody, or either they got murdered, or whatever the case may be, or they just switched up on me. But that was like the whole premise of like, me creating Speedboat. And then we had people come in the studio singing on the um, thing, where it was like, Jesus, that's, it's like taking it back to church a little bit, you know? Cause you gotta stay prayed up. You gotta stay out here. You gotta make sure you're straight. You gotta make sure your faith is good with God. And then give all things because everything can be just taken away in an instant. And that could go for a lot of things, you know? The thing about automatic, I'm just gonna put dots in this bitch. Okay, that one. Automatic is about a song about just automatically, you gotta have everything because back in the day I had nothing, you know? Barely had supporters, you know, I barely had friends. Shit, I wasn't like, you know, the most, you know, popular guy back then, so automatically I wanted to be popular automatically. I wanted to have girls automatically. I wanted to have money automatically. I wanted to do this shit. But over time, you know, as you keep going along, you realize that shit ain't really what it cracked up to be. But people will ride your coattail when they see you doing well. And I did not try to rhyme on purpose. self-portrait because this is the man I am now. See this clean cut, nice dreads looking nice. This is who I was. I never thought I would be this man right here. You know, I never thought that I would be looking like this because throughout my whole life, you know, I, I wasn't like the most fashionable or anything, but living in the city I live in, I became the person I became. And I guess with Zoo, I'm just a product of my own environment that found a way to get out and articulate it to the masses and to everybody that doesn't understand how I grew up or where I'm from. It's your boy Denzel Curry, and I would like to say goodbye. I just got done explaining the majority of the tracks that's on my project Zoo, and here's my portrait. Wait, make sure you get the camera down on this one. <laughs>